We are looking at a long sagittal section from horse signs. Sagittal meaning split in the middle. And if we start distally or at the bottom, the bones include the distal phalanx or the coffin bone, the distal sesamoid or the navicular bone, the second phalanx or the short pastern bone, the first phalanx or the long pastern bone, the proximal sesamoids, the sesamoidian bones, the cannon bone, and behind the cannon bone we can see just part of a splint bone, there's two splint bones, part of the tarsus, the third tarsal bone, the central tarsal bone, the fourth tarsal bone, the talus bone, the calcanus bone, and the tibia. If we start at the bottom again, or distally, we look at the main extensor tendon, which attaches distally to the extensor process of the coffin bone, and attaches proximally to the main extensor muscle. And the extensor tendon's function is to extend the lower limb. The deep digital flexor tendon attaches distally to the semilunar crest of the coffin bone. It rides over the navicular bone, attaching to the coffin bone. The deep digital flexor tendon attaches proximally to the deep digital flexor muscle. And the function of the deep digital flexor tendon is to flex the lower limb. The superficial flexor tendon attaches proximally to the superficial flexor tendon muscle and attaches distally after bifurcating to the back of the long pastern and the short pastern. And the superficial flexor tendon flexes the fetlock joint and the pastern joint. The deep digital flexor tendon has a check ligament that's not always present on the hind limb, but checks the deep digital flexor tendon. The suspensory ligament attaches to the top and back of the cannon bone, bifurcates at the fetlock and attaches to the front of the long pastern, short pastern, and combines with the main extensor, which attaches to the extensor process of the coffin bone. The function of the suspensory ligament is to suspend the fetlock joint. The sesamoidian ligaments include the superficial, which attaches to the proximal border the short pastern, the middle sesamoidian ligament, which attaches to the palmar aspect of the long pastern, and the deep sesamoidian ligament, which holds the sesamoids together. The impar ligament of the navicular bone attaches to the distal or bottom margin of the navicular bone and attaches to the semilunar crest of the coffin bone. The navicular suspensory ligaments go each side of the limb and attach to the short pastern and long pastern. If we look at 
the hoof, we have the hoof wall, which is nourished by the coronary corium and the laminae, the insensitive sole, which is nourished by the solar corium, the insensitive frog, which is nourished by the corium of the frog, the digital cushion, frog, bulb of the heel, the pastern area, the ear god, When we're discussing areas of the foot, lower limb, dorsal, is the front. Distal is the bottom. Proximal would be upwards. And palmar would be the back. So the palmar aspect of the lower limb, palmar aspect of the foot. Distal aspect, dorsal aspect. Vascular channels, 